so you've not seen me yet but you're going to hear me only for about 20 seconds whilst I walk back to my car which is there um, I've just pushed to Tesco to get cash to go to B&M because I'm not allowed to spend cash um, because I don't have any money and it's Christmas and stuff so they're all out of service someone's just gone to them he's walking along to the mall um, they're all out of service and I don't have time to go and find another cash machine because I don't know where there is one round here to be honest like town centre's probably nearest um, but I'm just going to have to go and use the card anyway I'll catch up with you because I've, I've got 45 minutes before the shop shuts well the one that I want to go in ah uh, not that one so I've been to Asda, spent over 40 pounds. There's two things you won't see. I got like um, a bralette. Um, it's like out of the underwear section, the black. They look like little, um, they used to be called crop tops years ago. Um, and I like wearing them, they're super, super comfy. Um, I got a free per pack of knickers as well for seven pounds because they're like bright blue, bright pink and a black glittery pair. So I thought, They'll go well, November, December, maybe January, and then get rid of them. Um, this is in the oven with about three minutes left, so I better get a move on. I have been to B&M as well. I got this mug. They had like one with Santa on, they had a, a, a penguin one, but this is the one that I wanted. The only thing that I don't like about it is when I'm drinking it, because I'm right-handed, it will face me, so if someone's watching me drink, which is weird, but... They won't see it, but it was £1.50. I got some misfits for my little misfit. I'm gonna have this now. It's been out the chiller section an hour and a half and it's still cold, but it's freezing in Asda. Got some cinnamon buns, I'm gonna have one now. Well after the pie, if I can eat it. Like I don't even feel hungry, but I could have eaten. Um I'll tell you why, in when like when I film my face. If I forget, then I'm an idiot. Um I don't mean feel to forget to film myself but forget to tell you why. Um, a red pepper because I'm making vegan chilli tomorrow, a pack of gift tags, a box of ready bread because it was enough for a pound even though I have an absolute ton of porridge, a um, pack of toilet roll to get me through the rest of the week, some bath salts, a very simple Christmas card, all this, crumpets, I'm going to have one for breakfast tomorrow and one the day after, they're enough for 50p, a large storer, some more snacks because she's not having them for days. I'm waiting for her to eat her food. If she eats her food, she can have it now. Like pudding for my dad. He asked for one the other day. Oh. He asked for one the other day and they, they only had the round one, so I got in the rounds and then I just saw this. This must be the new way of... I'm not holding it because it just looks wrong. I've done my stalls because my ran out and I couldn't go in my toilet. I use it once a week to keep my toilet super wide. Two cherry Pepsi Max for me, two normal for my dad. Two soups for my dad, these were enough for a pound and an absolute giant sweet potato. Look how big that is. And that's from a vegan chili because you meant to put two in. So I got one. I think that's it and it all came to just like £40 and something pence. Because um, I put the something pence on the card because I only had £40 cash. And 13 of that was like the underwear that I just told you about. So the rest came to around £23, which isn't too bad, I guess. Anyway, I need to get some of this away before my timer goes off. So I'm going to show you what I got from B&M. It's like 1 in the morning, my battery's getting low, I've got stuff to do. You've not seen me this week, but it's on Tuesday. Well, it's technically Wednesday. So I've seen these before and they've never had any M's in. And there was once they had an M in and it was really damaged. This is like a really gorgeous pink. It's not quite showing the pink up. It's slightly darker than what I can see on camera. Um, it might be the right colour when I edit it. So they have this in like a dark blue colour and a grey colour. But I'm really drawn to the pink. I mean I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Because I don't really use notebooks anymore. But I just like it. And that was 2 49 That was one of the more expensive items that I got. So I got this. Cherry berry, scented interior dehumidifier, only a pound. I'm going to put it in my bedroom. I don't think my bedroom's damp, but I'm sure my, my window gets condensated. So I feel like, well, I'll find out if it's damp in there because I'm sure this will 
Hopefully someone's going to get in. If not, it's just going to smell nice, hopefully. Paracetamols, because when do I never go to the shop and get any? Um, a mini hottie hand warmer. I wish I'd picked up a couple of these because I'm doing like a hamper for my mum and she'd like probably write one of these or a couple of these. This is to go towards another gift for someone. Um, but there weren't many left and they only had like a couple of other designs that I didn't like and there was only one in this pattern. But they might get more in so I'll have a see. Unless I just buy my mum a hot water bottle. But did I buy you one last year? No, I got me one. Anyway, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Um, oh yeah, one of them. That's going to be part of that gift. Um, I get them all the time. You've probably seen me with them. They smell gorgeous. They make the water go like a very pale blue. And it feels nice. And I recommend them. They're only a pound. Two Terry's chocolate oranges. One will go with that and that. One's going to go with my dad's Christmas present. Whatever I'm getting in because God knows. Um, I got these for me the other week. They're not bad for the money. £2.99. They're all 6 millilitres each or 6 grams. And a lot of mascaras these days are only around 8. So you're getting a bag in there. That's going with that and that and that and that. Um, Whitaker's Mint Creams Fondant Centres in Robed in Dark Chocolate. I wonder if they're individually wrapped. I don't think they're going to be. Um, if they were, I could have used them for something, but I don't think they're going to be. So, they're actually quite weighty, 150 grams. I got these furry colours, multi-purpose sponges. I don't know if I'm going to keep them or give them to someone because I've got them for ages. It's weird because the green feels harder than the pink. I don't know why. But I'm not a massive fan of washing up sponges. I just feel like they breed bacteria. I mean, you could throw them out pretty quick. They're only a pound. But then that's really bad for the environment and really wasteful. So I don't know if I'm going to keep them or just give them to someone who might get better use out of them than me, basically. I got another one of them because they're 89p. Thornton's Caramel Crunch. Um, I should have bought a few boxes of these because they're only a pound and I want a box for me. But this is going as part of this gift. So... This is for me. It's not showing the true colour. The true colour is actually there. You can probably see that. Um, they have it in grey as well. And I was like, should I get grey? And I'm like, everyone gets grey. So I'll just have pink. But now I'm wishing I've got grey. But it doesn't matter. Because at least I've got one. Because stuff like this sells out. I recommend this one. This is the one I use all the time. Ribena. I'm going to whack that in the freezer in a minute. Oh, it's got washing up liquid on it. I got wash the washing up liquid opened and it went everywhere. So, God, yeah, it's on that. I didn't realise it was on that. Um, this is what I've used for the majority of the year. I started using it right at the start of the beginning, start of the beginning of the year. Oh, God, I'm great for words. Um, in January when I got the capsules, and then like a couple of weeks later I got the liquid. I had the softener as well, which isn't bad. If you don't mind your clothes not really smelling of anything, use them together. But... You know, it's mainly if you've got babies where you would use them together because you don't want to irritate the skin. But I like this because whatever conditioner I'll put on with it, you can smell the conditioner and there's nothing fighting with it to smell, if that makes sense. Whereas at the moment, I'm still trying to get rid of my buddy's surf coconut capsules. It's doing my head in. I've still got about seven left. And I've still got the coconut method um, fabric conditioner. Um, so I've got this to start using basically, I mean I need to use the coconut stuff up as well but one wash a week I'm just going to use that and one wash a week I'm going to use the coconut because I need to get rid of it. Elbow grease in apple, um, I love apple scented stuff, this is really big, I didn't like the other flavour of this, I'm not really into lemon scented cleaning products because it never smells like it's meant to. A small box of Cadbury's, if you see me. Um, I've got a crop top or um, milk tray. It's got to be some part of a gift. This, I've got it with an M on. This is going to go with the mascaras, the chocolate orange, the hand warmer, the bath bomb, etc. etc. Um, not bad for £2. And these are going to go to a gift somewhere along the line. And that, everyone. This my B and M haul, and it was like twenty three pounds. Like I think it was twenty three something. So, 
quarter to four in the morning and I'm eating a cinnamon swirl. No, it's not. It's a cinnamon bun. It is now technically Wednesday morning and it's nearly 4am. I'd actually planned on going to bed at 2. Nearly all of my natural hair colour. It's looking a bit darker because it needs washing. But, yeah, all of that is my natural hair colour. How crazy is that? So, as I've said, God, it's bunching up at the back. It's just about to go 4am in the morning. And this wasn't the plan. Do you like my eyeshadow look? I used a little bit more, I think I used a bit of Flaming Hot and Just a Fear is my favourite, is that the one on the top line? Oh god I can't remember but I used some of Flaming Hot um, and I couldn't see how well it looked, um, oh god, I did do it hours ago, oh god I've just made it worse, anyway just ignore it. It did look half decent before. <sighs> so, last time I filmed, I did actually film on Saturday and I've deleted the footage. I feel like I just filmed it because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in my head and I feel like I needed to say something just for myself, do you know what I mean? When you when you need to talk about something and you've got no one to talk to, I kind of said it to camera, but I didn't say much because, as far as I was concerned, as far as I was concerned at that point in time, I was doing a weekend vlog. Yeah, I thought I was doing a vlog basically, so I didn't say much. I kind of skirted around the issue, but I just needed to say certain things to kind of make sense to myself, if that makes any sense. I don't know if it does or doesn't, but I was with my doctor on Friday for an hour and like 45 minutes of that was very intense. 50 minutes was a nice little chat, but it was intense before that and I'd not eaten because I just felt like a nervous wreck about going. I'm getting nervous about, like I'm nervous about going out the house and stuff. Um, and I get nervous when I go there and I get even more nervous when I walk into her office and I don't understand why because she's the only person that I don't generally feel nervous around but since the online bullying and the stalking and the hounding and the lies that happened about me by those grown women in the 30s and 40s I was, I was just going to call them girls but they're not, they're grown women and like they're still stalking me, they're still getting people to watch me and it's affecting me, I feel scared all the time. <sighs> just the lies, like, I don't know why people would lie like that, but I don't know. So I've been like more nervy around her. Um, and that's upsetting, because she's the only person that I feel super, super comfortable around. But they've affected me so much and they're still affecting me to the point where I'm just so nervous around her. And I always tell her straight away, I'm always like, I'm really nervous, feel on edge. I'm like, I said, if my heart beats any faster, it's going to come out of my chest. And obviously, as a doctor, she'll know that's not even possible. But that's just how painful it was um, for me. Um, but <sighs> my head's still going. <laughs> Do you like my own sound effect? I come with sound effects. It's just... <sighs> And she's on holiday, so it's not like I can ring up and leave a message for her to phone me. Because <laughs> she's on holiday. I don't think, well, yeah, she wouldn't be impressed if I phoned her. Um, sent her a text, hi doctor, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it is hard. Like, I could have done with having the conversation when she was not going to go on holiday the following week. That would have been better, but obviously I never plan what we're going to talk about. There's things that I know I need to bring up or talk about definitely. If, it, if there's any health issues or if there's anything that I need sorting or advice on. So, But I don't know 
where the conversations are going to lead. She asked me questions that I don't expect 90% of the time. And then because I'm so comfortable around her, I answer the questions and then it opens a, like something else. And then it's like, yeah. Um, she didn't write any notes. She didn't type anything. She just sat there leaning back super comfy in a chair and I'm sat on this really, they're not super uncomfortable but I would love to swap chairs with her. She should let me sit in her chair and I could pretend to be the doctor. Um, I just thought of Doctor Who then, I've not, do you know what, I never watched Doctor Who ever and then I used to watch it when Christopher, Christopher, Christopher Eccleston was in it, he was good and then I watched some of the ones with David Tennant in, but not many, and I've not watched it since. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Like, um, but when I just went, I should be like the, I should sit in the doctor. It just like sit in the doctor seat. It just made remind me of Doctor Who, and I don't know why, because she looks nothing like the doctor, because it's like a female now, isn't it? But I've not watched any of the episodes. Like, I just feel like. How do you get into something that you've not watched before? Like, I've not watched it for years, because obviously, Chris Beckelson was in it like 10 years ago. Was it like 10 years ago? But it was. So yeah, my head's still. <sighs> yeah, it's not giving me much rest. I'm thinking about a lot of stuff. I'm trying to not think about it because I don't want to think about it, but obviously, every time I leave there, I've always got lots to think about. Ugh. I just love that eyeshadow look. And do you know what? That Audi mascara is not what you can see. I got it on, but it what it doesn't build up the lashes. Like it's the worst five ninety nine. In fact, it, like I bought two makeup items and they're both crap. The other one I've got on underneath my makeup. That's not that. That's my blusher. But yeah, I just don't feel like it's very good. But I'll still try and use it because I don't want to waste it. So anyway, I was like doing my mascara and it wasn't building up my lashes. So I used the Push Up Drama um, by Maybelline. Look at that. It's like fantastic. I need to get another one of that. I was in B&M and they had it. And because I was getting like that tin with the mascaras in. Because I saw it and I was like, should I get them? The person who I'm getting the mascaras for the tin or should I get them the push up drama and I thought well the one with the three different ones in like gives them an opportunity to try different three different formulas but there were loads of this so when I go in if I've got any spare cash well I'll make sure I've got enough for one and then I've got a backup one ready for when it runs out but it's absolutely amazing this is my pixie lip tint I'm loving it my brush is the same as always max factor it's that cream puff one and it's like I think it's called lovely pink or pink or something like that it's like really pale and it's like a baked blusher and it gives you like healthy glue don't know why I'm talking about my makeup uh, every time like I see my doctor we kind of like have a lot to talk about and like I leave and I'm like I always think about stuff like I think, like, I left in a daze, and I I went the wrong way, and then I thought, how do I get to where I'm going? Like, it took me ages to kind of work out how to get to where I was going. Then I sat my car, and then I went home, and then I went back and sat my car again, and, like, went in the shop, and then sat in the car again. <sighs> this always happens when I go to see her. She helps me a lot. She's changed me a lot. People who know me, who haven't seen me for a while are shocked when they see me again because I've got a lot more confidence, I'm a lot more outgoing, I'm a lot more, like, when I go now, I just, like, sit down and take my coat off. Well, I always say it's okay to take my coat off. In the past, I would have sat there roasting, feeling really uncomfortable with my coat on. Now, I'm just like, it's okay if I take my coat off. And I ask, whereas in the past, I wouldn't have had the confidence to do that. But I'm always hot at the moment, so... 
And then when she first started talking to me, I kept getting blurry vision. I'm thinking, can she tell I've got blurry vision? And like, I'm, I'm struggling to like focus on her. And she never said anything. And I feel like she would if she could tell that I was like struggling to see. It, like it settled down after a couple of minutes, but the first couple of minutes I was like, and I was like trying to not like blink too much because I thought I'm gonna look odd. I think I think too much about things at times. <sighs> anyway, I'm not here to talk about my doctor. I've not edited this week's vlog and it's Wednesday now. So at some point today I've got to edit it so I can upload it overnight. I do have news though. My internet, internet, internet. Um, has suddenly got faster. We've got fibre. They've been promising us fibre for three and a half years. We've lived here for f nearly four years. And they've been um, promising us fibre and now they've given us fibre for free if we signed because we were in contract um, basically and they'd actually put our bill up and not told us and I think my dad was like oh god we're like we're paying too much so he rung them up and we were allowed to keep everything that we've got plus have fibre for free over what we were paying before they put the money up from what I've, he's told me so there was a day and a half without any internet and I was constantly having to use my 4G and I was only like two days into my contract and I used a chunk of it and I weren't happy um, but everything seems to be fine, it's gone off a couple of times I remember when we first moved in, the, oh, it was a shock, I'll be honest it was a shock I went from having Virgin at 100 gigabytes and I moved in here and honestly I could have buddy like when I was uploading clips, if you remember three years ago, I had to upload them one minute at a time and then edit them on the YouTube editor and that was because of how long, um, how slow the internet was. Like a minute clip was taking me about 10, 11 minutes to upload it. So that's why I was doing one minute clips and it was annoying because I'd have to film for a minute, stop, start again, stop, start again, stop, start again. And I was uploading hundreds of clips every week and my phone was constantly uploading on the Wi-Fi and I only had um, three gigabytes of um, data every month at that point. Two years ago I had to go on to, because it weren't lasting me because some months I'd get really fed up and upload stuff on my 3G, um, it's 4G now though. And then um, like when I left the house, like I was using up my 4G and I was having to buy bolt-ons every month. So it was costing me more money. So I think it was two years ago, I went up to 30. And there's some months where I end up with only about three of it left. It's really touch and go. Like when there's about five days of the month left, I always check to see what's left. Um, sometimes it gets to like, like, I've got like three left and I'm like oh my god and I'm very careful with it because when it runs out my phone doesn't seem to work as well I, like away from the house and I don't understand why like I have no explanation for that but yeah so basically it used to like if it was like an hour long video it would take 10 to 12 hours to upload unless I did it on my 4G so what I would used to do is, like, when I went to bed, I would set it off to upload. And if I was in bed for, like, six to eight hours, it would upload a chunk of it. But sometimes, like, when I get up in the morning, like, I want to go on my phone. And there were times when I was, like, forcing myself not to go on it for an hour. And that's stressful for me because I want to check my, my Instagram. I want to do all sorts of stuff, but I can't. So sometimes I'll get up and I'll like, after 10, 15 minutes, I'm like, no, and put it on 4G and finish it on 4G. So maybe this week I might be able to upload it all on Wi-Fi overnight. Well, sh well, it shouldn't take overnight because, I mean, I don't know how much footage there is. I think there's over an hour. Um, say there's an hour, like that normally would have took about, I don't know. 10 hours I don't know hopefully I'll just do it like in two hours or something like I'll be so impressed and I can't wait to see what time it tells me when I put it to upload like I'm gonna be like it's gonna be different so I've waited four years for it because I moved in January 2016 so 
yeah, it's, it's nearly four years that I've waited for the internet. Um, so I just basically have had to have a lot of 4G. So next time my contract's up, I might be able to get less. I mean, if it's not much difference, then I'll keep it as 30. Because it does help when I'm out of the house and stuff. Um, but I'll just see what my options are. My contract isn't up for renewal. I wish it was. I'd love the new iPhone. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's my exciting and only news at the moment. Hello. You're so cute. She's looking to check that I've got some food. I know what you're doing. You're giving me that sad look, aren't you? Hey. She knows how to get what she wants. When I was in the shop earlier, in one shop I got called um, a young girl. And then another one, I'd bought an energy drink and she kept looking at me to see if I was old enough. I want you looking to see if I'm old enough, aren't you? She's like, yeah. I said, well, I'm not going to say anything either way because if I tell you I'm old enough, you'll think I'm not. And if I tell you that I'm not old enough, you might, like, say I am, like... So she's, like, looking. And she's like, I don't know. I want you want to see my ID? And she went, well, you've offered me your ID, so you must be old enough. So, I mean, at the moment, I don't feel very young. And then I got home, and I think it was, like, 11 o'clock. I did some Insta stories. And, um... My dad texted me, it was like 11 o'clock, the plumber's coming at 9am. So, last week he, there were two lots of people here that he didn't tell me about, and I was in bed. And one he had in this room, which is an absolute tip, and one, like, was just putting a new door handle on. Oh, I had, ha ha to ha ha. Our new door handle is lovely. I know that's a really weird thing to say, but... The old ones were like these brass handles and I don't know, they just didn't feel very heavy. I mean the one that I've got on now is, isn't is heavy but it just feels like it's not going to fall off. Well not that they fall off but it just feels like quite nice. Because at first I thought oh god you can see where the other one was underneath because it's it's thinner. But when I went and like pushed it down I was like ooh that was, that's nice. Um, so the tap's been dripping in the kitchen for like six weeks, maybe more. And we're on a water meter and you'd think we got charged per drip, to be honest, with how much it costs at times. Um, so we're constantly like turning the tap tighter and tighter and tighter to the point where my dad's putting it so tight I can't undo the tap. So finally, like I asked him to get a plumber almost straight away, but he was like my dad he doesn't do anything like that so we finally organized it so he's telling me at 11 o'clock the plumber's coming at 9 a.m that means can you make sure the kitchen's tidy so i was doing stuff i'd put the shopping away like i filmed my shopping and stuff doing lots of bits and pieces i watched um i'm a celebrity i'm only watching it because caitlin jenner um i've not watched it for years um had a pie, I had potato and butter pie, butter and potato, whichever way around it is. Doing some more stuff. And then about 10 to 3, I was like, oh my god, the kitchen floor's an absolute mess. The plumber's coming in the kitchen. I was like, god, I'm gonna. I thought, oh, I'll brush it up, and it weren't brushing up fully. And I'm like, oh god, it needs vacuuming and mopping, because it, it did look bad. So I went upstairs and got the vac. Back the kitchen at 10 to 3 in the morning. I thought if my dad wakes up, it's his own fault. He's telling me at 11 o'clock at night. He must have known I was an hours earlier and could have told me. Then I could have vacked it earlier. So I vacked it and I vacked in here. Like the house is a tip because I've had a bad back for five weeks. It's like probably 70% better. But for the first, I think we're on week six actually, it's week six now. But for five weeks, it was absolutely agonising. I was bloody crying at times, especially the first three weeks. I was crying. I was screaming pain. It was horrific. So I've not been able to do much. The house is an absolute tip. And yeah, I were happy when he had people. Well, he had 
this sky engineer in here, he knew we were coming, didn't bother to tell me. I heard voices in the house and I'm like, what's going on? And he had this man in the living room and I weren't happy because it's my living room, it's a tip. And he could have easily either told me and give me 10 minutes to have a quick rush round, tidy up, or he could have come home and done it himself, which he won't do. So he should have told me because he would have known in advance, he didn't just know two minutes before. So Miracle actually got here before the Sky Man, to be honest, because he arranges to meet people here, and then he's 10 minutes late, and they're banging on the door, and he's not telling me they're coming. I'm having a mental breakdown inside, like, but he's, because I don't like anyone knocking on my door. Then he turns up. So, um, yeah, I racked, and then I was like, oh my God, it looks so much better. I don't need to mop it. I mean, it will need mopping this week but it doesn't need mopping. Then I started to clean the cooker hob. Didn't really need doing it. It worked filthy, but it, it, it like it would have lasted until tomorrow. Clean the sink, clean the cupboards, like, on, like the front of the cupboards near the sink. The sink run, the one next to it, and then to this side where the kettle is. Um, I put a new refill in the plug-in by the front door, spiced apple by Febreze, oh my god, it's absolutely gorgeous, I've got it outside my bedroom, and every time I walk past, or even when I'm in my bedroom, it smells gorgeous, then I put the frosted pine in my dad's living room, because that is run out ages ago, um, racked in here, started emptying my bin, it's like so full, did a few little things, um, got a few bits of wash it laundry, out of the laundry basket to take upstairs, um, stuff that doesn't need ironing, like loungewear and stuff. And um, entered, I've got like um, a Tesco own version of Febreze. I finished that off, I sprayed the curtains, I sprayed. She's got like a little cushiony type bed near the conservatory door that needs replacing. And Father Dogmas might buy one. Oh shit, she just lifted her head up. Oh, she's got a little beard. <gasps> I can see you. With your little beard. Have you got a beard? She's like, of course I've got a beard. I'm a buddy dog. Have you got a beard? Have you? Have you got a beard? What? You got a moustache? You got a hairy bum? You're not impressed, are you? Hey? Come and give you a kiss. Are you ignoring me? Oh, look at that face. Look at those ears. You got big ears. You're not coming then. You come in here. You want to come sit with me? Hey? You gonna come up? That's right. Ignore me. Oi. Chunky. She can smell food. Aren't you? You big fatty. You can smell, smell the food. Yeah. I know what you want. Yeah. Tell YouTube what you want. I want some cinnamon bun, YouTube. I want some cinnamon bun. Because I'm a big booty girl. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What do you want? Hey, tell me. Are you looking at your lips? Are you looking at your lips? Are you looking at my cinnamon bun? Yeah. <laughs> you just did. A noise that'll be my dad on the toilet. Yeah, he's on the toilet, isn't he? Yes, he is. I know what you want. She's looking at my cinnamon bun. Don't you? I, I bloody want it. I want all the food in the world. Well, you could put. Do you know what? She's getting me put the torch on her when she goes outside, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, talk about a spoiled doggy. Yeah? Oh, it's spoiled. It's half past nine in the morning and I haven't been to sleep yet. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm super thirsty. I'm so thirsty. You can probably hear my like. Yeah, super dry mouth. But I don't want to drink because I keep needing the toilet. My bladder is annoying me. Okay.
I believe it was my birthday and I placed a Dirty Fresh Cosmetics order and there was an offer on where they did seven of the bath bars which is basically a bath bomb in the shape of a bar um, for £20 plus delivery and I think the bars are around £3.85 to £4 each so it did work out a really good deal if you remember quite a few vlogs of go, I did get an order and I got the bath rocks which I've still got half the pack left um, I don't always put stuff in the bath and also I do have a lot of products I have a lot of the treacle moon stuff which I recommend it's vegan friendly it smells amazing and there's no really bad things in it to be honest it's really nice so I don't always put stuff in like I was always in the past when I had my fake friendship because the I was just being used to buy stuff and promote them um, I was using stuff all the time and obviously I got rid of a lot of that stuff like I stopped using it because it wasn't very good for my skin and it was harming me so yeah I had the unicorn puke and that was the one I used first I feel like I wouldn't get that again because I liked it but I didn't love it the bath rocks I absolutely love and I would get them again and again and again because I just love you to them in the water and they go like a magnificent colour and I really like that scent and then on my birthday I had the ultra frog which is actually half of which is actually half of ultra violence and half of the poison frog so it was basically cut in half and that's what I had so I know I'm going to like those two the two very different scents Supernova I wanted, the first one I'm going to be using is Aurora just because it has arrived broken. This did arrive last week I think, um, but yeah I've not really done anything with it. I feel like I'm going to give away the Apollo one, which is like, I feel like Apollo's that, yeah it's manly, it's like the Lynx one, but then again, let me think which one it'll be, I think it's Poison Frog. Yeah, Poison Frog's Manly. That's Creed by Aventus. Ultraviolet is really sweet and lovely. So, but I think I'm going to just give this away. Um, as part of the Christmas present, basically. Just because I feel like the person that I want to give it to would really appreciate it. They really like baths. They have baths more than me. I don't bath as much as I did. I'm back to having my showers because I was having baths because I was buying all that bath product because I felt like I had to and I felt like I constantly had to promote them and it was making me really unwell like that. Yeah, it's just, it still affects me what went on and what she was, what they were doing and how they were making me feel. But yeah, I just feel like there is someone that would really love this. I originally was going to give two away because there was someone else but they're no longer in the position that they were in where they were going to get something from me and I couldn't decide like I was looking at thinking which one would I give away and honestly I want to keep them all and the only thing that I thought I might give away was the I think it was poison frog or supernova because they're both very manly scents this can be cut in half definitely look at the size of it and I feel like the ultraviolet is going to be cut in half. In fact, I think I might cut them all in half and they'll last me longer. So, I don't know if the person who I'm going to give this to will cut it in half. But I don't know if it's easy to cut in half because it's like, I don't know. I feel like it would just crumble if you cut it in half. I don't know. We'll soon find out, I guess. But I just wanted to show you this. I wanted to make sure it came in. In this week's vlog if you're thinking of buying anything from a small business if it's a bath product definitely check out dirty fresh cosmetics alice 10 gets a discount and also they are very much about mental health and promoting it because the girl behind it becca has mental health issues herself and she like a lot of these have been co copied my former friends have a ultraviolet bath bomb bath bar thing and there's lots of things if you go on the site and go on to the those who I used to buy from who I'm not going to mention because I'm not promoting them if you remember who they are then if you go on you'll see a lot of this has been copied and Dirty Fresh Cosmetics has been around a lot longer so yeah I just thought I'd show you because I like showing what I've got especially if I recommend it and I couldn't recommend these more I really enjoyed the bath 
fat on my birthday but I just feel because of the sizes they are huge like this is like a brick that I could literally get through my window I mean I'm not gonna even try that because that'd be really stupid it'd cost a lot of money but yeah go and check them out definitely and you get is it in there no it isn't oh it's here last time I got one with a man on and this is the original one that they had and these are printed they've not handwritten them but I just like love everything about this so dairy fresh cosmetics all the way So, it's like nearly half past 11, I've just got home like 10 minutes ago, my back's freezing, I don't feel well. Yeah, not even got today's vlog up because I haven't edited it because I can't be bothered. Because I'm just tired all the time. So I've got a pink ruler because I can never find mine. I've got a yellow one, I'm pretty sure I got it from Asda as well. So now I've got this to lose, probably find the other one anyway. I've totally run out of them. Um, I've got paracetamol but I just don't have any ibuprofen so there you go got them for my dad at the checkout the last few times I've been there they've got these and cheddars and typically I'd always get them cheddars but I got them these just to be different two giant crumpets I've been having one a day that's all I've had today so far that which is about to go in the fridge no it's not going in the oven the oven's on it's giant I think it's like nine inch or something three pounds they also had like the pepperoni one and then the americana one but they didn't have my favourite which is chicken and hot pepper juice peppers but I'm hungry so I got that six containers two for a pound ginger and lemons because I keep getting so full just open one of these because I've got stuff to do and I was up all night again and then I slept late and then I couldn't get up blah 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 three of them because I can never seem to find them for some Fridays no one for my dad and that and then if you remember on my birthday i got some was it my birthday or the day before or was it after my birthday anyway three to four weeks ago i got the blue ones don't have them on because they're slightly too tight i can wear them but when i sit down there's a lot of glare going on when i sit down they're, oh, they're uncomfortable they dig in and i've never wore a size bigger than what i get my bottoms in like I, I go up in tops um i mean even well at the moment I'm, I'm my size or a size up but normally because i have put weight on normally i'm a size smaller in tops than i am in bottoms but i've had to go up a size in the bottoms because in the jeans because basically the ones are too uncomfortable and i've not worn them so i've been wearing my old black jeans which are now gray i mean these ones have got the fading down the front which if I would have thought about it, I wouldn't have got the faded ones. Like, they're still super black down there, but, yeah. So, they're more of a casual one, and I did want to wear them with black boots, so I'll see. Like, I probably still wear them with black boots, but if I was thinking about it, I wouldn't have got the faded ones, but I've got them. They were £14, and, yeah. Hopefully, I'll fit back into the, the other ones soon anyway, because... You know, I'm not going to get rid of them. I should have took them back, but I never take anything back. Anyway, I want to get the pizza in the oven. And, yeah, because I'm really hungry. And I shouldn't be filming because I'm not editing my last vlog. So, I've got to do this quick because my phone's a Thursday first. And then my dad can hear me because he's turned his TV down because he likes to listen in. So, I have these in my car, which I'll put in the so I'll show you every time. My drawer's going to get messy again. Got that from my dad. He wasted two of these last week, so he better not waste this, otherwise I'm not going to give him this anymore. It's because he's lazy and he doesn't want to chop veg. I got him some cheese fins, some tuna beans for him. I even got him these, which were more expensive than the normal ones, because these look a lot better. Um, I don't like bacon, especially smoked bacon. Um, I got him some normal bacon, I got him some... A medium packaging breast, I got some Brussels sprouts, some wholesale chips and cauliflower cheese which badly badly need to go in the freezer. These are the take on of the monster with the green M, M which I love. They're similar in taste but you know they're like, I don't know if I think they're 47p or 60 something p, they're still a lot cheaper. I got another bottle of ginger wine, um, I got two of these, I got one last week and it was really good. So I've got another one 
two packs of my faves. Some natural chewy tortilla chips. These are the socks I got for my dad. They look really long, but have you seen how thick they are? And they were only one ninety nine. They had other designs. They had one that looked like an elf outfit and one that looked like a Santa's outfit. But these definitely screwed your Christmas. And I got him that t shirt. Some nuts for me. After eight. Pie for my dad. Hot sticks. I cannot wait to try them. Some more cakes. And this lot came to £38. I need to get stuff in the freezer. So I'm going to quickly do this. You might want to turn the volume up. Well, I'll alter the volume and make it louder anyway, but my dad's listening to me. So, I thought I had £20, I had £40-odd pounds. Well, I knew I had over £20, but didn't know I had over 40 till I got to the till and realised I had two £20 notes. But I looked at my money before I went in the shop, so I don't know how I really messed up like that. Um, but So, I basically bought, thinking I was on a really strict budget. As you saw, the last shop was mainly my dad's stuff. But I do have bits and pieces in the freezer and as I said I've got stuff in the cupboards, I've got beans, I've got loads of packets of rice, I've got pasta, I've got noodles, eggs, bread, everything. So I'm not going to go hungry. I've still got some leftover pizza from yesterday, I've still got vegan chilli from yesterday. So and there's lots of vegetables in the freezer and in the fridge. There's London McCartney sausages, there's the no chicken chicken burgers, there's that vegetable burger thing that I had the other day, I've got one of them left, so I'm not going to go hungry. So I've got this for one of my lunches this week, I've still got a soup in the fridge, um, I think it's carrot and butternut squash, and I think the date is one day this weekend, but I can't have it at weekend because I've got so much stuff in the fridge that I need to eat, so hopefully it'll last a couple more days. There's the sausages, I thought there were 12, there's 10, so there's going to be a three, three and a four. I can make a, a casserole one day, another day I can make Sausages, potatoes and beans, so I don't have to have them all in the same week either. They've got today's date on, so they do have to go in the freezer tonight. Oat cakes for my dad. This is what I was going on about. I've been wanting this. They run off for of 3 50 at the moment. Um, what date does it have on? It's got tomorrow's date on. Um, so, yeah. I hope you do it in the oven and not in the microwave, because I hate microwave food. So, this is what I've wanted for weeks. I hope it doesn't let me down. This is my evening meal. It's been super reduced. I think it's been reduced three times. I've had it before and I like it. Tiger bread. This is all because I thought I was on a budget. Essentials. I didn't really need them, but I'm going to run out. I needed that. Three of them for my dad. Two for me. Can you see what time it is everyone? It's like 5 in the morning. And I'm about to show you my B&M haul which has been out for hours but I've edited last week's vlog. I've saved it, I've uploaded it, I've got the title. I'm going to let it go live tomorrow at 6pm or today at 6pm like in 13 hours time. Um, been tidying my bedroom, I finally put a duvet cover on my bed. Not had one on for about five weeks, maybe longer. Been collecting a bit of rubbish. We'll talk all about that another time. So I'm going to quickly show you because I need to get some stuff put away because I want to get in bed by six. So I got one of these a few weeks ago and it's being used. And it's, it's meant to be for my front door. So it's currently here. Because I bought this gorgeous wreath from B&M. Um, so now this is going to replace it. Because I was trying to get a white one. And they did have white ones. They had blue ones. They had green ones. But when I went in. They had black and red left. So because it's got red on. I just feel like this will be a better fit. As you can see it goes. And that's meant to be going outside. That's if I ever managed to get hold of a fresh one. So that's why I got this. Then these are the best noodles ever, the 29p. I've got a couple of packets in Tesco the other week, they were like on offer for 
49p and I forgot they're only 29 in B&M but the problem with B&M is you're very lucky if you can get older chicken most of the time it's like a sweet and sour one or a curry one I've got a pack of the curry ones to try but I've had them ages so I've not tried them absolutely gorgeous, great for lunches, great for snacks, great as part of meals highly recommend these noodles then I got the Fountain Caramel Crunch because I've brought a few boxes as gifts so I thought I'd better get one for us. Um, there weren't many left on the shelf. I don't know if it's going to be restocked or not. But for a pound, absolute bargain. Another Thornton's item I picked a few of recently are these. So I bought us a box. And these are actually open. And they're not amazing. So I wouldn't recommend them. They're just not, they're not like you would expect to be honest. These are as part of a gift. I actually got some as a birthday present. And I've got about four of them because I don't like chocolate orange. I thought, oh I might do, I've not tried it for years and no, can't stand it. I got a small cherry Pepsi Max. Um, I got a Dr Pepper, I was meant to have that last night but got home at like whatever time it was, like was it half past ten or something, I don't know. Last year I got them, normally you get dark chocolate ones don't you? And I got them because I'm not a massive dark chocolate fan, like I don't mind them um, after eight but I can't eat many because I'm not a cho dark chocolate fan. So I had them and I loved them and by the time I realised how much I liked them they didn't have any anymore so I picked up a box and they will be just for me and my dad can have dark chocolate like mint things they're absolutely gorgeous then I got nine Sephora's so last year I started to get Sephora because Mrs Hinch was like get Sephora um, and I can't even did it for years because I remember when I was growing up my mum was had the original one which I couldn't stand I think my dad's just got up um, I need to film this so basically that was the, one of the first ones I got and I absolutely love one cinema and I could never find it again. I think I got two or three bottles in total. Um, but I managed to get loads of these because Tesco stopped it until around March. And I still have some left. I have some full ones left that I need to move into, like... drawer in my office room that's got all the different Sephora's in and I know there's at least two full ones of these in there. I've got one open I think in my own suite unless I've recently finished it. I think I've recently finished it. The labels are different this year so you know these are the new ones. So these are going to go in that drawer. I think all of them except for this one because I don't have this one. And then I'm going to get out my older version. Hi. Hi. Hello, babies. What you doing? What are you working on me? You're not having anything. You got the dins. Yeah. So they're definitely going to be put away. So now I can start using them basically because now I have three. Which, you know, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's my all time favourite one. Um, it tells you what's in it. It's a cool fragrance combining mint, 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 <laughs> mint and sweet vanilla with a touch of seasonal spices. Love it. Um, so, yeah, I could get that all the time. That and um, Twilight Garden, which is my all time favourite. And I've not used that for a little while because I've not really been using Sephora and I've got tons of it. So then. Like there's one over here. I don't think I've ever opened this. And everyone was going on about it and how amazing. And I eventually found it. The summery fragrance bursting with juicy peach and apricot finish with sparkly citrus and exotic fruits. I've not even used it. I need to put it away somewhere to be honest. Um, there are some that I'd never buy because I smell them. I always smell them before I buy them if I don't like it. I don't buy them so there's things that I've not got because I didn't like it and there's ones that I like kind of liked in the shop and when I've got them home I'm not I don't love them or I get bored of them quickly 
Anyway, I love this and I actually found one in this cupboard earlier that was two thirds full and I've put it in the bathroom. I've put a bit down the toilet and I've just kept it in that well, downstairs toilet. Um, also, this is the one that I didn't get last year because I thought, oh, it's probably going to be rubbish and didn't get it. But the wax smells, melts smell amazing. So I've smelt this in the shop. I was like, oh my God, so I've got three of them. So I definitely want to get more of all of them because I don't know if Tesco is going to do these continuously like they did last year or this year because they did until about March of April. So that's my B&M haul. Um, oh yeah, I just, um, I finished this off. But I've put that there just for now. A bit empty bottles there. There is a method to my madness. That I got when it came out and I mopped my floors with it and my floors looked amazing. So my floors do actually need mopping. So health permitting because I don't like to plan ahead because I always get sick. I'm hopefully going to get to mop my floors this weekend because they badly need doing. So in here, see I've got like, this is my Narnia and it's very tidy. Like I tidied it last year and I've kept it up. Like there's a video up on my channel where I sort it out and it's basically stayed really, really tidy. Basically because I've not been really doing much cleaning. I need to use this up because I've had it ages. So I might put, swap it out because I've got a lot of newer sprays. I might put two sprays in here and swap that out just so I can get through it. It's like I've got some liquid bicolor that I've not used. That's a floor cleaner. That's a floor cleaner. I need to start using my Dettol spray because I don't want to catch anything. So I do need to start. And there's my only for breeze which is in April Fresh. Um, I've got the Flash Christmas floor scent which if I'm going to mop the floor I think I'm going to use that just because I don't want to end up with a festive scent for the next 12 months. I've still got last year's the next to it and I'm going to mix them both together and I always put a bit of Sephora in as well. So I have the limited edition mark is but I don't have the Christmas one so I need to try and get hold of them. I've got my pine air freshener down there, I've got my buddy safe, I've got my carpet powder, I've got another dettol, I've got a descaler, I've got a twilight garden there. I wonder how full that is. Oh god, that's nearly full. I've got a fridge and microwave cleaner. This was very sickly. I think this is the only one that I've got left. I've got a winter morning from last year. Oh god, that's nearly full. Another winter morning that's probably slightly less full. And I've got the pink grapefruit. I've got a flash floor cleaner, which I really rate. I've got that recently. So I've not actually been doing any cleaning. I've been doing, I've not even been doing the basics, I'll be honest. Um, quickly show you this because I need to end the vlog. Essentials, hand wash, air freshener, bean bags, lots of air fresheners, more buddy twilight garden, um, winter morning, the new sparkling spruce which I've not used. I need to start doing cleaning guys. Hi everyone. So past five in the morning and I'm just casually vlogging. I think I said in the last clip I weren't gonna film. I keep looking at my eye maker because I think it looks really good. Anyway, quick recap because I'm gonna finish the vlog but I wanna finish the week off properly. So basically I stayed up all night Thursday going into Friday. It was not the plan. The plan was to go to bed about three lie down around four-ish, or lie down pretty much straight away to be honest and be asleep for four. Got to six o'clock and I thought I'll lie down in a minute. Didn't lie down until 10 to 10 or something like that. And I laid down and I fell asleep and then my dog came in the room banging around, making a being sick noise and woke me up. So then I was awake for I don't know, a couple of hours, and then I fell asleep for a couple of hours. So I had about three hours sleep, and then I woke up, and I could barely open my eyes. 
and I went on my phone, I was on my phone for ages and I kept thinking, don't do this, if you stay on your phone, you'll, it'll wake you up fully, you won't be able to go back to sleep, you're going to be tired. I was like, oh, just to do this, and like two hours later, I was still on my phone, I was like, well, you're not going back to bed, because you've got to get up, you've got to have a shower, you've got to get ready, you've got to go do Food Shop Friday. I didn't leave for Food Shop Friday till after seven. Um, I don't know what time I got back in, I, don't, I just don't know. Um, I don't even feel that tired, I don't know what's wrong with me, I do not feel like I should be really tired. And... I don't want to be doing this where I'm not getting much sleep because I don't want to make myself ill because I've not felt well for weeks. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about my health in this video because this, like, I'm not sick, sick, but uh, I don't know. I can't stop looking at my eye makeup because it just, I just love the darkness and it looks like I've got eyeliner on underneath, but it's my mascara. And it's because I've just got too much on, basically. Got a Shane Dawson palette on. Oh, yeah. Every day. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm just tired. Do you know what? I'm not tired. Do you know what? I need to say, stop saying, do you know what? I've done a lot today. <laughs> the last few days, I've just suddenly started to feel a little bit better within myself. My back and hip issue is pretty much 90% gone. I have theories about that. Um, I feel like the best thing I can do is go upstairs, sort myself out, take all this makeup off. Well, there's not much on my face, as you can see. It's kind of all come off. Like, there will be little bits on. I'm going to take my makeup off. And then get last week's vlog up for 6pm, which will be a.m., which will be in 20 minutes time. And then just take it from there. If you're new to my channel, please, please subscribe. I mean, it's taking forever to get anywhere. But as I've always said, this channel has always been about me and me documenting my life. And how crap it is. I'm gonna go to bed in last month's latest in beauty box. Was it last month's or the month before? What did I get last month? I got the Gemma Week, the lip balm or something else, so it was the month before. I got two products by Dr. Botanicals. One of them was the Pomegranate Superfood Regenerating Sleeping Mask. Today, this box turned up about five inch by five inch and there was two things inside there was no padding inside there's no padding inside so they were moving around and in the box was don't know if the face is big or two boxes of it um it came in a bigger box in a jar last time um, and I think there were 50 mil jars and I've been sent two of the tubes which I think looks really really cool because um, I'm literally about to go and put one of these on and because it like it's not relevant anymore and there was a note inside that says Dear Latest and Beauty customer, we recently re reviewed some customer concerns regarding the quality of the Dr. Botanicals Pomegranate Superfood Regenerating Sleeping Mask. It is extremely important that you are satisfied with the products you select from us. Therefore, we enclose a replacement for this product. We advise you discard the previous item we received. We do apo we apologise for the inconvenience, love team, Latest and Beauty. I haven't even had any problems with it, so... Um, but I will try the new ones. Because of that as well. So I'm gonna end this so I'm gonna end this weekly vlog here. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell notification to get an alert every time I upload a similar video. And yeah, bye everyone.